Hello there. In this video, I want to look, can AI create correct emotions in a portrait? So right now with all this new versions update, new mid journey 4, stable deep version 1.5 and so on, we can create a perfect faces, perfect airbrush it look clean faces. But in some cases they look nice, but they're emotionless. So what I was trying to do, it's went inside the like mid journey and try different emotions to find what emotions I need to run. I was going like uh, to Wikipedia page, emotions. I will provide a link below or you can just search by yourself, which is actually provide for me very nice list of emotion, emotions. It also even have this cool, cool chart, which is tell me what type of emotions, how close they're related. Um, and also between emotions, a so very nice reference to what type of emotions as well have a different chart with even these faces that they help me identify. What I done, I create take those just emotions, went to the mid journey and experiment with emotions on the old witches. So overall, it's very simple. It just like excited, okay, or angry or witch or something and let's render. Of course, some emotions is more complex than just one word. And I did experiment with this and end, I end up with a nice chart reference chart with all different emotions and state. And by the way, this chart will be available for you for free download. Just go to my Patreon page and download it. Anyone that can download it from there. Hopefully this chart will help you to just to look on a face expression and see, hey, I can use this word inside the prompt to achieve that look on a face. So let's go look closer and see, does it correct representation of this emotion? Does a reference of the tag will work for us in those? And what are we going to do? We'll go, um, let's go start with our first thing. And we have it right here, happy. Um, actually, it's very nice, happy if we look, it's just on thought. And it's special next to the laughing because laughing can be different. And I do like how AI distinguish them. So for example, right here, you can see happy is nice smile with slightly open teeth, slight mouth, very pleasant. And laughing can be anything like evil laughing or other things, much wider open mouth, more showing on the teeth. And this is a perfect, I mean, this is too, it just on a spot, the happy and laughing both work very well. Okay, let's go next, excited. Oh, look on this face. That is again, that is a perfect excited face, wide open eyes, something smile with anticipation. Excited can be angry. So in, I think this is what I was saying before. Single word sometimes not in a, in a, um, perfectly express some emotions. So in this case, we have this kind of, you know, maybe um, anger, excitement or anticipation, you know, type excitement. Okay, let's go next. Oh, we have it inviting. This is inviting a little bit harder because it's not just emotions inviting. It is state of the person, for example, a little kids walking, la la la, want to have it candy and which is inviting them. So it could be actually also related to action in this case. But overall, this is inviting face. And I think it's work very, very well with this. In love, it's more tricky because in love, it's not necessarily emotion, but I especially want to put there to show how it will come up AI yeah, and it did it incredible job. Of course, facial expression a little bit hard, but right here, see what has come up. It's put it two people together, even teeny tiny heart right there. And it's perfect representation of in love mischief. Oh, this is bottom one face. It's a perfect for the mischief, something hiding side looking also positions of the head. It's perfect. Okay, let's go next. And we have it actually because this is representing more than just one. But if we look again on chart, we have it right here XT by join serenity. So it's like it around there. It should be representing a little bit more like joy serenity. And I think it did a very, very good job in this. Let's jump to next one surprise and surprise always can be um, bad surprise, good surprise. You have it all of these different types. And I think general a surprise face, like right there, very, very beautifully, very nice showing. Definitely you can um, see the emotions. And the, here's the problem is with uh, some emotions, if I put it words under, you expect this. You have it like anticipation. So you look on this face. It's good face if I tell you scared or submissive. It's could go under 
that phase as well. So in some cases, it's not total clean verifications when we put it like anticipation word and look on a face, does it apply this? However, this is all conditional. So it's meaning or environmental driven. If I put it just this face, you can apply different emotions. It's why sometimes portrait photography work because without properly, we just without name, people will apply whatever emotions they feel at this state. However, if I put something above or some other environmental element that will describe this does it angry person this the candy handing on a tree or something else so then we can conditionally apply to the environmental right now i think this is those words it's help us establish what is about does this word represent or this tag prompt that i put in represent properly view on the expressions so, okay, anticipations, and I think this is perfect. Look on this, it's anticipation faces, very nicely done, shock it. And I shock it, I was shocked by shock it, how well it's can create it. Example, right here, you can see shock it witches, but also I run images with shock it grandmas, you can see, and they're actually very, very good, old lady in shock. I mean, it's a perfect image. And of course, how I said before, the shocking was very shocked with. Okay, anyway, so let's go next. What we have here, and this is excited. It's what I sometimes get excited, and when I get excited, my English get bad. So right here, we can see it's have nice faces, beautiful, beautiful, very much um, excitement. Okay, let's go ahead next. Thinking, I like how what they done AI yeah, and thinking put it head make like more. I'm thinking of unicorns or something very look far away beautiful set again it's a very nice reference whatever they're using the weights library it's actually very very good right now emotionless very nice state right here it's like you can apply almost any neutral to this concentration seem like almost thinking except a little bit more mischief i think it's what give it to this proud proud a little bit harder it just depends what kind of proud again it's need descriptive more than just one word but again it's a very nice done bragging oh this is the perfect face for the bragging trustful well i don't know if i will trust the stop left depending on what kind of trust you wanted but those ones is very nice on the bottom one they're actually done very very good on this tender gentle very nice also some of those emotions again you are applying but remember it is was applying from the prompt and because we need to kind of reference to the prompt see it will qualify the face fit in that prompt disgust Ooh, very nice very nice disgusting face disgust same like right here disgusted and disgust so disgust yes actually done very good grief very good i mean this is a very nice grief face done very good emotionless same like before so it's almost angry or oh, the angry one it is one of the basic one because we have it happy angry sad those are the very basic emotions that actually imprint in the brain in our brain and we can identify them very very easy and we can see by the eyebrows look how it's done mouth slightly done eyebrow i mean it's perfect angry face infrared it's so nice look on that very good discuss kind of this lying and i don't know how the lying emotions can be because it's very hard if we have a specific face emotions for the lying then we know when people lie to us so this is more kind of see how the ai will interpret it, <laughs> lying state how they look but in general this is very very hard one because humans used to hide lying face for a long time you know it will be nice if we can have a specific face expression when you lie because I think we we'll have it much more honest politicians then. Okay, fear. Oh, this is good. This one is very nice then. Fear. Um, scared. Oh, this perfect scared. Look on the top left. Perfect scared faces. Very nice done. Terror. Terror a little bit more. I think um, terrorize will be better because terror is could interpret or a person will achieve terror because this top one almost look like Dark Vader, you know, it's kind of but it was terror but overall okay this is one war villages the very nice oh this is very good word for the a uh, very good expression for this word perfect top left one upset 
nicely this is a very good or oh, very good upset down broth mouse a little bit down slightly close eyes i mean this is perfect perfect for this upset said similar to upset will be i think in some cases we'll may use it same ways to access but the same very good concentrating and oh uh, conservative sorry, conservative conservative i think it's more like pull back maybe kind of look i don't want to have it with conservative but it does look at least what i was thinking it's very good okay i think we're almost done so let's stay with me for till end we'll see what else we have it on the end but i think it's going very good right now joy and sadness so here is kind of combinations of different emotions because usually if you have it like joy sadness you joy but you also sad you have a boredom kind of anger or this one example scared surprise and this is make more sense because you can surprise different way but scared surprise look how it is surprised but mouth open and eyes wide open i mean this is perfect scared surprise okay happy welcome this is what nice happy uh, nice happy welcome face look on this nice teeny tiny smile less teeth so it's actually get very good the reference to this nice eyes okay let's go happy surprise very nice also done happy laughing a little bit different a little bit less wide open eyes if you remember before if we look on a happy laughing it was this way and of course spongebobified so it's another state of the emotion when you watch too much on spongebob so this is what become to you when you spongebobified on this okay right here is our chart we kind of look over some of this emotions of course you can always refer to the specific those reference inside the wikipedia which is kind of very nice to use but i also will be um give this for free the chart so you can uh, in some cases help you to achieve so for example you can go very fast and says you know what i like this face so infrared okay i will put it this one in a portrait so you can create a little bit easy so it will be visual reference for you to use yeah, I hope you find this kind of interesting um, experimental with the uh, AI and uh, emotions. And I think it is incredible um, how AI can create emotions that is look exactly the same. It's meaning some of the weight library that it's using as a reference is very well tagged and its identification gone very, very well. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video with other people, let them see it as well. And I greatly appreciate all your help. Thank you. I have a great time to make your art.